Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah's generation of wealth and how Abdullah would have taught a generation how to create wealth for the generation after and the generation after and the generation after. So Abdullah was definitely a good man because the Bible says in Proverbs 13 that a good man would always store up an inheritance for his children, children. But you have to understand reverse psychology and you have to understand the language of symbology to really understand me. So if you are familiar with the work of Neville Garden and you understand your own ancestry, you'll understand that each and every one of us must have a clear understanding of our own ancestry and we must also have a clear understanding of the language of symbology. Therefore, at the time when Abdullah was in New York and teaching the message of self-realization, many who looks like Abdullah was not ready for such a message. And the reason why many were not ready, it is because they were still dwelling in the realm of mental slavery, where they still believe that the Bible is literal and secular history. And they were continue, continuing to look outwardly believing in a savior or a creator outside of themselves. So Abdullah had to hid the message of abundance and prosperity, the message of liberty. He had to hide it in the language of symbology until one with the same DNA comes to explain the mystery to a people who are open and ready in the time of a digital age to receive their generational wealth of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding concerning their higher self. So, to really wrap it up in short, all those of us who live in, in the Caribbean islands, we are witnesses of the Goddard enterprise, Goddard and Sons. And though the name have changed, okay, their mission statement is still there. Joseph Goddard, uh, picture is still there. I have a, 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 a vlog video on the same channel that you can check out. Okay. Where I show you all of the different places and so on in my country. Right. And we can see, right, the practical wealth that they would have left. We would have seen the practical, uh, empire that they would have built. And it has all been done in a symbolic way to teach us that we have the same capabilities within us if we are willing to change our belief system, if we're willing to take back our power, if we are willing to get rid of the idol, Jesus Christ, the idol that is that, that was given to you to keep in self-doubt and self-hate. And to put you to look outside of yourself instead of you believing and trusting that the kingdom of God is within you. And that is why Abdullah taught Neville Gada that the central character of the Bible is man's imagination. When he taught Neville Gada that, it was to teach us how to live in a first class mentality and get rid of the third class mentality, which is the colonial mentality, which is the mentality of mental slavery. That is why many people would have heard never spoke about when Abdullah told him that he already in Barbados and he had no work and he had no money and Abdullah told him to sleep in his mother's home in Barbados in his imagination and to walk the streets of Barbados in his imagination while he was actually walking the streets of New York and many people miss it because they do not understand that Abdullah was dropping a lot of jewels and he was hiding it in a language of symbology for us to read between the lines and use reverse psychology to tell us we have to take control of our inner economy. And not until we take control of our inner economy, we'll be able to express it in the outer economy. So, my brother, my sister, I want to say to you, those who set up a system to keep you in colonial mentality and a perpetual uh, mindset of mind, mental slavery they would seem to be ahead of you but I'm saying to you that they are not ahead of you 
Okay? If you will take the initiative to trust your imagination, if you take the initiative to be disciplined and to go to bed more consciously, to write down your goals and your dreams and to believe them with all of your heart and all of your desires, then you will understand that truly you can create generational wealth. So, my brother, my sisters, Abdullah was not known for driving the best automobile. No, he wasn't known for that. He wasn't known for wearing the most gold chain around his neck or the biggest brand on his, on, on his feet. He wasn't known for wearing the most expensive clo clothing. He wasn't known for that. He was known for his wisdom, the wisdom of self, and for giving love to all of humanity. And that's why, my brother, my sisters, we have to have the right mindset about money and how to circulate and invest money. All of that is what will constitute generational wealth. But the wealth that Abdullah wants you to really get is that you have a power that is within you. You have the power of great price within you. You have a kingdom that is within you that can give you anything that you desire. And that intelligence will teach you that land is actually an asset, not a liability. So you're not going to invest in automobile over land. And that is why many of our people have felt that for so long that they were deprived from so many different things that when they see money, they use it foolishly. They use it on things that are liabilities, things that depreciate instead of use it, using it on asset. Thing that would bring you more money. Thing that would help you to continue your legacy and have generational wealth. So, my brother, my sisters, just as we can speak about the Goddard generational wealth that is here right now. I never spoke about his brother having that strong desire way back in 1921, 22, somewhere around there. And it is still in existence right now. So to my brother and my sisters, if you take the initiative right now to challenge yourself and to learn to love and believe in yourself and learn to, 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 to reprogram your subconscious mind, learn to relearn and unlearn. Well, unlearn first and then relearn. If you're willing to do that, this is you starting a way to create generational wealth. If you learn to invest in the right things, you will be able to create generational wealth. Many of the people created generational wealth. They have stocks and bonds. They have these things. They, they have real estate. They have lands. Are we seeing these small countries in the Caribbean? The politicians always sell out the land to investors. And they're continuing to enslave their people. But I'm here to wake you up. I'm here to say to you, you cannot change the system, but you can change yourself. Walk along with me. Let's bring our energy together and walk together so we can be a change. Let us be the change. So my brother, my sisters, the message I really want to get across to you is that we have to create generational wealth. You're not going to get it from buying the, the fastest car. No. You're not going to get it from buying all the Gucci and the, and the Louis Vuitton. No. You're going to get it if you invest. We're going to get to do it if we invest in things that last. We're going to do, we're going to, we're going to get to do it if we learn to invest wisely. And if we would be willing to teach our children, children, the wisdom of our ancestors, such as Abdullah and many others who understand 
the power of self-knowledge. Who understands that true salvation is self-realization. Who understands the power of the mind and how to use your mind wisely. So my brother and my sister, the choice is yours. If you change your mind, you'll definitely change your life. So I hope you take something away from this message. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you, and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal, and the link is always down below. Also, you can support this work by allowing the ads to play at least for 30 seconds or even up to a minute. Also, if you feel strongly led to be a part of my Patreon community, you can support this work continually as we work together for the upliftment and advancement of all of humanity, whereby I will always preach this message, appointing each and everyone to look inwardly to discover that the real identity is their divinity. Also, I'm offering a $20 course that is called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously, and the name tells you what it's all about. It's all about the inner sun that is within you, that light that is within you, your soul man. So when you're in alignment with your soul man, you'd realize that whatever the sun and the outside shines up and it brings forth bountiful, and you'd realize that if you are in alignment with your inner sun, that your life will bring forth bountifully. So let your life replicate that of the sun. That is what it means when it says that let your light so shine before the world, and the world will see and they will definitely glorify the creative power that is within you. Because when you tap into that creative power, you use your ability and you use it wisely for the advancement and upliftment of all of humanity. So if you feel strongly to check out those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. At this time, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.